only three weeks of high school football remain with district championships kicking off tonight. Welcome in to Five on Your Sideline. I'm Ahmad Hicks. And I'm Hannah Yates. It's all elimination from here with one team advancing and one team heading home. We start with our game of the week. Francis Howell hosting Troy in a postseason rematch. The Vikings would take control early in this one. Booker Simmons pass somehow winds up right in Brett Norfleet's lap. He says, <laughs> don't mind if I do. But the Trojans weren't going out without a fight. Jaro Sutton said, we have a big tight end as well, and he's pretty good. Nathan Ryan, the two connect up the seam. And then they said, if it ain't broke, we're not going to fix it. Sutton and Ryan looking to connect again, and they do in the end zone as Troy hangs on to win a Close one, 23-21. What a way to start the show. SLU and CBC rivalry matchup between uh, for the district crown. SLU had a chance for a big play early, but it's off the defender's hands and it goes for a nice game for Gavin Conley. Later on, it's the big connection. Patrick Heider to Jeremiah McClellan. Beautiful. He's going to rock the cradle as the cadets take an early 7 to nothing lead. And they keep piling on. Here's Dylan Van with the touchdown coming up right here as CBC wins the district title 42-21. The undefeated Holt Indians hosting Helias trying to stay perfect. One way to do that, give the ball to your uh -oh. playmaker, Kyle Woopling. He rips off a long Woo. run, and the team had all the momentum after that. Quarterback Cooper Brown starved the show, would gap off the drive going in untouched as the Indians were rolling big, but offense is only half the story at Holt High School. Yep. Their defense only gives up 12 points per game. Zachy Smith telling the Helias quarterback there's no chance as the Indians <laughs> hang on to grab a district title with a 34-6 victory. They are rolling. Let's make a stop at St. Mary's where the Dragons hosted Valley Catholic. Already up 7-0. Karan Spann and Chase Hendricks said we're just getting started. The two hook up for their second touchdown of the first quarter and the Dragons never look back because moments after scoring that touchdown, Spann looking at his coach saying, hey, drop me up another play where we can score again. Coach said, don't worry, I got you. Give it to the fast guy, Kevin Coleman, and no one is catching him as he goes in for the score. St. Mary stumps Valley Catholic 55-7. Now let's go to Lutheran North. The Crusaders hosting Cardinal Ritter with the district title on the line. Good start for North. If you watch our program, you know this man, Brian Brown. He takes off per usual, and nobody is catching him. He rumbles in for a touchdown, six to nothing for North, but the Lions came ready to go. And Mike Tillman wanted to show off his wheels. This is a 97-yard kickoff return for a touchdown, untouched, and the Cardinal Ritter knocks off Lutheran North 20 to 18 to win the district crown. You can see it here. There were flurries and it was windy at Summit hosting Eureka, but no problem for Eureka's kicker Bryce Clark. Impressive field goal to tie things up at halftime. Out to half, Summit is determined. Elijah Stevens is really determined. He refuses to go down. Great run that would set up a touchdown coming up and look at him go. It sets up this TD run from Durante Terman. They keep up that momentum to stay unbeaten. Falcons win 23-13 over Eureka to take home the district title. Everyone trying to stay warm at Gateway, where Vashon hosted Union. will pick it up down by one. Mr. Touchdown himself, De'Air Hill Jr., continues his, his impressive freshman, freshman campaign. Not enough room to the right, so he said, let me just cut back left, and then he's going in for the score. That will give Vashon the lead. Now we'll pick it up in the fourth quarter. Union was driving and knocking on the door when Javante Chandler said, welcome to my island. You're not welcome. Big stop for the Wolverines, and then De'Air Hill Jr. will rip off another impressive touchdown. This time from 95 yards out as Vashon wins 28 to 22. Off to O'Fallon where the St. Dominic Crusaders were hosting Hazelwood East. Spartans quarterback Makai Holmes looks to find Jeremiah Dorsey and he turns it on for, with speed in for the score on the first possession of the game. That's how you start it if you're the Spartans. These Crusaders are hungry. Kelly Webley hands it off to Matthew Willenbrink, who outruns everyone on the field. He takes it for his own touchdown, 45 yards for the score, as the Crusaders would win their first ever district championship title in school history by a final of 42 to 21. The Cougars were bundled up at Lutheran St. Charles facing the Duchenne Pioneers. One key for the Cougars, get the ball to Arlen Harris Jr. <laughs> it may have been cold out, but he brought the heat. First down and he'd be back, don't you worry. 
Aaron Coffey hands it off to 33 again. He sees his shot right away into the end zone. Shows us why he's committed to play ball at Stanford. Yep. Cougars up by 20. Fourth down with three seconds left in the half. Duchenne mm. can't get it done. Lutheran St. Charles wins big 42-0.